Hello everyone, my name is Mello here for the Closure Rain channel and I'm going to show you two comparisons from Fire Opaca and Krita. Mostly I'm going to be targeting on the coloring aspect of it. Right now I have this Rainbow Dash right here in Fire Opaca and I also have this Rainbow Dash and Krita and the difference between the Fire Opaca and the Krita Rainbow Dash is well I mean the different angle was for one but yeah this is <clears throat> this is also for my comic book so anyway let's get started so how do you color in fire opaca and before you say no this is not a um which one's better fire opaca or Krita type of thing you know, just just don't don't burn down the whole entire internet, please. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to see a flame war versus you know fire pack is better and your or Krita is a lot more superior than this and stuff and then the whole entire earth just explodes and and magma and all that stuff over art programs. By the way, you know both of these art programs are free and both of these art programs, you know, are pretty okay. I actually like both of them. I think Fire Packer has a better paint bucket tool though. But you know what? Krita also has a good pen tool. So you know what? I'm, I'm not that biased against it. Let's get started. So yeah. Right now we're going to start with Fire Packer. And how to color in. Or how I color in Fire Packer. And yeah I know. Uh, but there's like multiple ways you can color in Krita too. And Fire Packer. This is not this is not the way I color in Fire Opaca or Krita. Well, this is the quick and easy way of how I do it, you know. So, yeah, for one thing, I pretty much choose a off-colored, kind of blue, dark blue type of thing. Make sure it's kind of like dark colors and stuff like that. So when you can do this, color the whole entire character dark blue. Now you might be wondering, but why do you color it dark blue? Don't you want to color it the actual colors? I actually know what Rainbow Dash's face looks like, and and she's not that color. She's she's this color. Shh, shh, it's okay. We we're gonna we're gonna get to it. No, the reason why you color it dark blue is, well, you pretty much see these little artifacts here. This little right here. This little artifact thing. Let me get a little bit closer. This thing right here. <laughs> Find it. Yeah, I know it's like a pixel. But this little pixel right here. Well, what you would do is you just color over everything. Get rid of all these little artifacts. And then once you get it all colored in, it looks pretty nice. Other than this thing right here. Just go in. Now you got everything all blue and looking pretty nice. What you would do now is go to this protect alpha. And then what you'll do is you'll make a new layer. And then you hit this tool called clipping. And what this does is since you can get the actual color of Rainbow Dash. You can bring this all the way up. Yes. And then let me show you how easy it is. Let me show you how easy it is with this tool. This is the reason why I can paint so fast in Fire Opaca. I'm done. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not done, but you know. <laughs> yeah, the the character's color is pretty much almost done and then all I had to do is just click the color of what I want color this this and just get all this and then just color this this, this video is taking too long anyway so I'm, I'm gonna switch over to the next program Krita so, 
how to do this in Krita. See, for one thing, what you would do is, yeah, this is just the lines, you know, drawing everything. You pretty much outline it everything. Here's a scenario. You outline it everything. Now, you want to color it, but you don't want to color it on the actual line because, you know, it would destroy your line art, and you don't want to destroy your line art. So what you do is you make a new layer. This is what happened to me. You make a new layer, and then you go in and try to find the paint tool and do exactly what I do. You put a lump up. Nope, it colors the whole entire thing. Hmm, okay, how about if I do this? Oh, nope, it colors the whole entire thing. This is why I say the um, paint bucket tool and fire opaque is a lot better. No, what you had to do is, well, for one thing, I like to keep my stuff organized. So what I would do is I'll hit Control G and make a group. Look at that. And now I'll take this color layer, I'm gonna call it Fill Good Ink. Oh gosh. <laughs> Fill and then just plop it above it and then I'm gonna take the you know second line tool and then plop this one above it. How do you draw? You can't just use the paint bucket tool and I know there's like multiple different ways you can do it and every single way is on YouTube except for this one so that's why I made this tutorial so far. Hmm. Well you go to this little wand tool right here. Oh. <laughs> you go in, you hit the magic wand tool and then you head. and hey look at that it colors oh my gosh. And then you take the wand tool again, go over here, and you color it the same color like the other one. And then you go over here and do the same thing with this one. <gasps> Whoa, holy crap. That's amazing. Makes, makes magic happen. And then now you can go in. Oh, wait. You had to unselect it. How to unselect it? You hit control shift and then a on your keyboard and if you don't get more robotic than that then that's pretty good and then so let's get to the coloring shall we let's go ahead and paint the tail do the same thing with the magic one tool plug it in boom clipping layer button that's on the side of it and it should it should in theory clip it took me a little bit of you know time to do that and look at that it looks pretty nice maybe maybe a little bit really this is how you draw in Krita and and fire opaca. Which one do I think is better? <clears throat> <clears throat> I could feel I could feel the um, pit sports and 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 torches and stuff ready to ready to hit me in the back. But uh. but I do have to say one thing for free programs. I actually I actually like both of them. I like Krita and I also like Fire Opaca. I like Fire Opaca because I could pretty much easily go in and actually do it really, really quick. Like it just boom, you know. I, I will give it, I will give Fire Opaca's paint tool a four out of five. There's some, it's, again, it's, you know what? No, I'll give it a five out of five. Out of all the paint tools, this works really, really quick and it's a lot easy and, and, Sure, it doesn't work 100% of the time, but hey, you know what? It's quick and easy, and I'm used to it. Krita's paint. It's a lot more slower and a lot more taxing, but you know what? It can do the, it can do the trick. I mean, it's nothing bad about it. I'll give it a 4 out of 5. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty nice. And yeah, this has been <laughs> the most pointless video on the internet. Hopefully you learned something, you know, from this. And yeah, and hopefully 
everything goes great and you have a nice day so peace out